Hey Heritage, welcome to the table. My name is Scott Jones. I'm one of the associate pastors here at Heritage United Methodist Church and we're so delighted and, and glad that you decided to join us tonight for our virtual communion service. Um, we've been doing this for about a year. Hopefully this has been meaningful to you uh, as we partake in the Lord's Supper um, every Wednesday. So I want to invite you um, here is if you don't have your communion elements ready, please get them ready and um, and we will partake in the Holy Communion here in a few moments. In the United Methodist Church, we have open communion. Anyone, if you can agree to the, the, the pardon and confession, uh, you're welcome to partake in the Holy Communion. Um, I'm using the service of Word and Table too. Hear the invitation. Christ our Lord invites to His table all who love Him, who earnestly repent of their sin and seek to live in peace with one another. Therefore, let us confess our sin before God, and one another. And if you would, repeat the confession and pardon with me. Merciful God, we confess that we have not loved you with our whole heart. We have failed to be an obedient church. We have not done your will. We have broken your law. We have rebelled against your love. We have not loved our neighbors, and we have not heard the cry of the needy. Forgive us, we pray. Free us for joyful obedience through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let's pray in silence. Hear the good news. Christ died for us while we were yet sinners. That proves God's love toward us. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. In the name of Jesus Christ, you are forgiven. Glory to God. Amen. We read in Scripture... During that last supper, Jesus took the bread and he broke it. And he said, this is my body broken for you. And every time you take this bread, do this in remembrance of me. And after he served the bread, he took the cup. And he says, this is the blood of my new covenant poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Every time you drink this cup, do it in remembrance of me. Let's pray. Father God, we thank you for this opportunity that we can come to your table and receive your meal. God, we pray that you'll consecrate these elements tonight and make them the body and blood of Christ for us so that we can be the body of Christ to the world. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If you have your bread, you can take your bread. This is the body of Christ given for you. This is the blood of Jesus shed for you.
Let's close in prayer. Thank you, God, that you knew us before we were even born and that you're constantly thinking about us all the time. We take great encouragement in that you're with us. It's in your name we pray. Amen.